this is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses and I'm just going to do a short little video here and showing you that you can use your Weber Smoky Mountain cooker as a grill. Now what I've done here first of all is I went ahead and I put in my uh, new basket that I got just to use it as kind of a reducer because I'm not cooking a bunch of steaks. If you were cooking four or five then of course you would just want to spread your charcoal and fill the whole area. But I just wanted enough area that I can get hot charcoals just down the center to cook two large steaks. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you a picture of the charcoal chimney while I bend over here and pick this one up. And I did not take a picture in the last couple minutes, but you can see this thing is roaring along. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it out on the middle here and be careful keep it to the side, but you'll see that all this charcoal is going really well. And now I'm going to use my old crusty tongs here to make sure that this is all spread exactly the way I want it. And I'm standing here and I can just feel how hot it is. The next step is that we're going to add a grate on top of it. Now today I'm going to use the grate from my um, Char Griller Smoking Pro, but you can use any grate. I recommend using the biggest one you can find and maybe even just picking up one from your local super center. But I'll try to put a uh, link for a replacement grate in the description below. And that is an affiliate link, so if you use that I will get compensated for it and thank you. I like the little handle here that comes with the Smokin' Pro and then I can just set this and these are conveniently the exact perfect size to go completely across the opening. When you're buying a grate for this, you just want to make sure that you double measure this and get it about an inch wider. With these, it has the two individual cast iron and it's going to work out perfectly. Now sometimes with steaks, I'll flip them over so I get a larger uh, searing surface, but I'm definitely not worried about that. I want to get the charcoal flavor in there. So let's take a quick break and I'll be right back. So I went in the house and I got the steak out of the sous vide. I got myself a plate and some tongs and uh, what I forgot was a knife and a fork, but I'll get that on the next break. Now, if you know a lot about sous vide, with a steak like this, you wanna go about two hours or just slightly more at about, I go 133 because I want my steak just above medium rare. But if you want it rare, you can go lighter or if you want it more well done, you can go more. I recommend that you go a little more than you think you want because the sous vide is so good at cooking tender steak that you'll get what you're going for. Look at that, it's completely done all the way through. We wanna get a nice char and get that flavor on there. So I'm gonna set that right there. And I'm gonna grab the other one. The only thing that's gonna be better than the steaks is gonna be the leftovers. I'm gonna leave it right here for one minute and then I'm gonna rotate it. So let's go ahead and take a break. We are going really good here and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this and get a nice char on there. I'm not going to leave it for a whole minute because of how much flare up I'm getting. And while I want the char, I don't want a burnt steak either. So we'll take a 30 second break. All right, we're back and it is flaring up pretty good. We probably could have gone with just a little less charcoal. A little crispy there. probably go about 45 seconds on this side. Okay, I'm going to check this real quick. There you go, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. We're just going to do 30 seconds and that's it. That 
that's it. We'll leave the grill grates on here to burn off a little bit. Now, I'll go ahead and take a picture here and post that. I'll be right back. So if you see this picture here, you can see that there's lots of charcoal in that basket and we probably could have went with less. Um, but when I'm grilling off the steak just to sear it, I'd rather be a little over than a little under. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little piece of this off here. And let me remind you again that this steak was done completely before we put it in and at 133, which again is just slightly right around uh, medium rare, but then when you grill it off, you'll get your edges will be more well done. And I'm just gonna show you how easy this cuts. I'm just setting, pushing my knife through it and it just cutting like butter. And then here's a little look for you and then for me. That is great. So the whole purpose of this video was not about cooking the steak. It was showing you that you can easily use the Weber Smoky Mountain cooker as a grill to surface char something. All you have to do is get yourself some sort of grate. I recommend that you just scavenge an old grate off of a propane grill or whatever you have laying around. But if not, you can easily buy one at the Super Center or online at the link below, which is an affiliate link again. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.